what's up guys gonna do a quick walkthrough of prop stream and a batch a dialer right now you guys are looking at my screen this is what you see when you log in you can put in any area here and it will give us everything in that area right there's a lot to prop stream more than I know at this point in, in a week I'll know much more than I know today but I soak up quite a bit and I've been learning so you see here these tabs up top MLS pre foreclosure auctions bank owned cash buyers liens vacant high equity so these are filters that are already set up here which is great you have your pick view which is what we're looking at now and we have your list view um, this is not the market where I'm working within however if you see here you have access to it's big data right so fairly awesome at the fingertips right let's take a look here pre foreclosures so pre foreclosure notice of list pendants so let's take a look at one of these so these people have to do something they either have to modify catch up on the mortgage something has to be done sell the property right let's take a look and see what we have here you're done with the pre foreclosure uh, there's a lot involved now I would not suggest that any that you unless you have experience working with attorneys knowledge of bankruptcy uh, things like that that you, is required to work within pre foreclosures not only to know the language and to be in, and understand the mindset of the property owners but also understand the process of what it takes sometimes to stop foreclosures uh, to connect with attorneys because sometimes depending on where your client is or your prospect is in the process of the property being in foreclosure sometimes there's things you can do sometimes there's not <clears throat> so it's pretty neat that they already have a preset filter for that uh, these ones are auctions so these ones are going to the county courthouse A little bit further along in the foreclosure process right we'll look at this one here and they'll give us details of the actual foreclosure so let's look the recording date was uh, January 26 of 2022 so last week they have an unpaid balance of over four million dollars tells us the lender name so these people will most likely have to sell that's a good opportunity there to help them uh, however since it is such a high ticket so most likely there's a lot of people getting after them right so that's some good information there uh, let's look at some comps why not it's one thing that they do even there's a lot of talk in the industry of them not having access it appears that we have pretty good information here so you have a sale in uh, October 2.9 not really see the thing is when you're talking about luxury you know you're not gonna have anything that's really exactly when you're talking about areas like this in upper Manhattan 2.9 8.5 8.5 2 2.6 you know who knows exactly what's happening there um, with these types of deals there's a lot going on 
So let's do something. Uh, look at the filters. I want to look at this one as well, just to take a quick look. Now, again, we're just doing a walkthrough, and uh, when I open a new system or platform, or just like you guys do when you subscribe to it, when you fresh get it out of the box, yeah, it's functional, but you want to get familiar with it, and there's certain things that you may need to optimize in order to uh, function properly. The great thing is, though, uh, I have access to this. However, there's not a lot, a lot that I have to do. It's more of a resource that's been provided to me by a, a new, in a new campaign that I'm working with in. So these, I'm working with some investors out in Missouri, and uh, these prop stream and batch dialer. So what's interesting here, and I think it's awesome because you hear it a lot, and I'm always, I already knew that once we, we, I wanted to take a look at it so I could learn more, but the liens. So like this one here has a federal tax lien. Uh, let's look at it. They owe 60000 So that's one of those things that you can use as leverage. But also you need to keep in mind when you're talking numbers with your seller, you know, you need to early set expectations and just remind them that, you know, the numbers that you're talking are going to be less. Yeah, they're not going to have closing costs. They're not going to have agent commissions. It's huge. But they have to remember that if there are any liens or anything on the property, that that's something that has to be handled in in the title and the closing of this. So. And most of the time, it's not, not going to be news to them. They know that there's, there's something going on, but it will be handled. So it's a good thing. Um, when the property is sold, that $60,000 lien will be paid off for them automatically. And then when they get their check or their wire, it's going to be less that amount, right? Let's look at this one. This one is 95000 there's another lien for another 95000 so that's 200000 there. Uh, these folks probably have to sell. Uh, let's look at this one. Uh, this one here, the lien is uh, only $700, right? So they're not necessarily going to lose their property over that. Um, so that's PropStream. Uh, let's take a look over here, and this is... Uh, Switch it over. All right, make sure that worked. This is a batch dialer. Uh, so, as in the ISA role here on this investment company, uh, you know, every day they'll you know, have new stuff in here to work on, and I can just work from my dashboard, um, or from my campaigns, my contacts, and uh, make my calls, right? So 